just from my own experience, um, I always felt I had so much love, you know, and I always uh, try to hold on to that love for someone special in my life or for one day if I had children and I thought I just had to keep that love in my space or in my family unit or, or something. Um, but with myself, I was not so loving. <laughs> I was very hard on myself and I knew I'd heard you know you've got to love yourself before you love others and I was like well how do I love myself you know um, don't I don't really like myself I don't like myself when I'm this way I don't like myself when I'm that way um, it was just a little bit confusing like how does that really gel together and when I came to this training and I was told that I could just rest and allow myself to be as I am, then I started to see very organically and, and, and very, very, very slowly that by really relying on the four mainstays and allowing everything to be as it is, all my thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences, all data that was arising for me, all the ones that I wanted to get rid of, the ones of feeling inadequate, the ones of feeling not good enough, always anxious, worried, um, fearful, nervous, all those things that I thought I had to get rid of. And when I get rid of them, then I can like myself a bit more. Um, but by relying on the four mainstays and really making that my lifestyle, um, I saw that this gentleness was unfolding, this complete gentleness of allowing myself to be as I am. And so I started to see in my own experience that that was the self-love, was really allowing myself to be as I am, first and foremost. It was just, com it was, it was key, it was absolutely key before you know, loving everybody else as, as, um, as themselves. It starts with us. Really getting to know ourselves and allowing ourselves to be this magnificent, beautiful, special, <coughs> unique and rare beings. Because we, we really each are so magnificent, just as we are. Just as we are, just shining. I mean, you're all shining, beaming. And I really see your, your magnificence. And that's because I've allowed myself to just be myself and be my magnificent self too. And I, I, I never used to say that to myself or think that about myself. But now I, I see that, you know, yeah, we are just all incredible. <laughs> and we can really allow ourselves to be as we are. Allow that gentleness and love to unfold. Because all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, and, and um, experiences are this expression of perfect love, of this natural perfection, completely inseparable from, from open intelligence, from perfect love. So there's nothing to get rid of. All the, the, the negative thoughts that I thought, or even you know, sensations, emotions, experiences that I thought I had to avoid, you know, eradicate completely, um, um, yeah, bury, <laughs> so I wouldn't feel these things in order to feel okay. I actually saw that they were the, the, the gems that reminded me to be gentle on myself and to completely allow myself to be as I am and to see that the, the data, that data that was arising was complete intimacy with myself and everybody else. And that's the power of, of um, asking questions, having that complete courage to, to, to ask a question. Um, I know for myself that was very difficult because I thought all oh, my questions are oh, that silly. You're just going to ask a silly question. <laughs> and um, yeah. Um, thinking I wasn't contributing because I just had silly ideas and, you know, and it <laughs> weren't being of benefit. But when we 
when we completely um, <coughs> just really rest, rest in our power of great benefit, asking that question is tremendous support for everybody else because we all experience everything at one point in, or, or another in our lives. We are all human. We all have human experiences. And so when, when we ask a question, we really are normalizing it all and clarifying it and say, yeah, yeah hey, I feel like that. Who else feels like that, you know? And um, I mean, that's amazing. I, I started to ask more questions because I saw that uh, I was no longer limited by, by all my ideas of my questions not being good enough or, uh, you know, I'm not having these exquisite experiences to share or, or whatever it may be, but really being so natural and so humble, that complete hum uh, humility and, 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 uh, and dignity and respect. And that's why we ask questions, because we're all supporting one another. So it is incredibly powerful and very, very, very beneficial. Very beneficial because the questions we ask may be many people's questions too. And that's what I found, absolutely. And sometimes we think, oh, wow, I didn't even realize I had that question. That's so powerful that that person asked because it just sparks something in us. Have you ever experienced that before? It's just like, oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> You know, I don't need to ignore that. Let's just clarify it together. So, thank you. <laughs> so, it's allowing that data that comes up for us to completely be as it is and flow on by. But, of course, if there is something that's quite harmful and not of benefit, then we can see in the right time, you know, whether we should say something or not. You know, maybe... Um, aside, you know, from, from everybody else. And, and, and we'll just know, we'll just know. But the most powerful thing is to really rest and allow all that data to, to rage and see that all is well, all is well. Because our examples are so powerful. And this is where it comes in, the, the education, the nature of mind. Yeah, this is the first time we're getting the proper education. <laughs> you know, really recognizing the nature of mind. And it is so powerful. You know, Gathering together, doing this together, being educated together, training up together, and living the four mainstays lifestyle. We're living it. We're living this education and nature of mind in every moment by relying on open intelligence and the four mainstays. And so for now, it seems like you know, we're just a little community and we're gathering a few times a week. But just look in your daily lives. Just look at work. Just look in your family life. What are you sharing with people around you in your life? You know, we see that our relationships are just opening up and they're just flourishing and they're just becoming so beautiful and of incredible benefit to ourselves and, and to everybody. So really being trained up in the education of mind, it is really filtering through. And people are recognizing that. People that live with us or work with us or yeah, chat to us in the street or, you know, they recognize that ease, they recognize that stability, they recognize that we're not seeing ourselves or, or anyone else as their data, that we're seeing them as these beautiful, rare and precious and unique, exquisite beings. Yeah, we're seeing everybody as their strengths, gifts and talents that just want to contribute and be of benefit because that is just so innate. We just want to be of benefit. And so through this education in, in the nature of mind, we're seeing how we can and we can go you know, beyond our limits. We're completely limitless. You know, we, yeah, we just ooze benefit in every moment. <laughs> it just really shines forth in everything that we say, do. You know, we're really using our wisdom, speech, body, mind, qualities, and activities exalting ourselves, exalting ourselves, really <coughs> elevating inexhaustibly this, this incredible um, beneficial powers, our beneficial potencies in every moment. 
And so through our own example, we're showing everybody else that they can do the same, that they too are, are fabulous. <laughs> no. no one is flawed. We are completely flawless and perfect as we are. I mean, how magnificent. And so more and more people are drawn to that. And it's not just here in Bristol, as we know, it's worldwide. It's worldwide. It, is, it blows me away how these communities are just growing and growing and growing. And it's really due to, to us, to our commitment. People recognizing what's going on and saying, yeah, I, I want to jump on that boat too. You know? Yeah. I want to turn with that ship because now's, now's the time. And it's the greatest gift to really fall in love with ourselves. You know, I really took, took the time to get to know myself. That's why I can really speak from my own experience, because I've been taking the time to really get to know myself. Really get to know every nook and cranny about myself, everything. And, and seeing that, that it, it, yeah, it is complete. Um, relationship and connection with every being. You know, really understanding where everybody is at because I understand where I'm at. I understand all the experiences I've gone through, all the, all the afflictive states, everything. And, and that has really fueled my, my commitment to stand up and step into my power and no longer be a victim or at the whim of, of the data that, that are fleeting. You know, they're just fleeting, so we can really allow, allow them to flow on by, to flow through us, and recognize again and again our, our, our stability and potency. And with decision-making, it's so wonderful that you have that, you know, what is of most benefit to myself and everybody else? And just to, just to keep that in mind and, 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 and rest in that. And, and we start to see that decisions, big or small, <coughs> they make themselves. <laughs> you know, they really do make themselves. <clears throat> there's, for myself, there's this lightheartedness when I really need to make a decision. Before I was so you know, stressed and caught up in the decision making and I, and I had my pros and my cons and I spoke to 60 friends and my family and I don't know what, you know, just trying to make this decision and, uh, and if I choose that one then that will, and, but what if I choose that one? And, but one, we never know what's going to happen, right? We never know what's going to happen. So it's, you know, we just rest in the moment and just see what is of most benefit right now, first of all. And then we just see with a complete balanced view um, that whatever decision comes up or whatever decision unfolds, we're, we're completely okay either, either way. Our well-being is completely unaffected. So that's already great to know. And then the decision will just make itself. You know, we feel that there's an urgency to make a decision right now. But actually, when the decision needs to be made, it will be made it will be made. So, yeah, just when that decision comes up, just, just, just rest right there. Yeah. You'll see it, it, does, it does make itself. And, it, and it's incredible because I've always been very indecisive. <laughs> so now to allow that indecisiveness to be as it is, is completely cool. That really lightheartedness and I don't have to fuss and yeah, I just see things just, they just get done, they just get decided, and yeah, and it just flows. Yeah. And, and whatever, whatever the outcome, it is the perfect opportunity, once again, to rely on open intelligence. So, um, and to be supported by the Four Mainstays. So we're not alone, you know, and we can really touch in with our trainer. You know, when I've really got a big decision to make, I really do rely on my trainer and saying, right, well, this is what I'm, I'm deciding on, and, and I'll rest with that. <laughs> yeah, but there's that complete support, complete support, seeing what is of most benefit, and we're doing that together. So we're never alone. Yeah.